Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on getting my texture pack running on Project 64 3.0. Uh, I don't know how you do it on anything else, but uh, first of all, you got to download some stuff. Well, you're going to need the ROM, which I'm not going to tell you how to get. You can figure that out. Uh, you need the texture pack, which will be linked in the description. Uh, you're going to need these two at the very least. You can download the Sound Pro again as well. It'll also be in the description. And you'll, of course, need Project 64. First of all, you need to launch this thing. I did it already. But if you, you're downloading a new one, fresh install, you'll want to go ahead and set your ROM directory just to make things easier. And I'm pretty sure it's actually required. Ignore this one. That's just my ROM hack. All right. But first things first, you got to go to configuration. Make sure this is turned off, of course. Then change your directory to wherever Project 64 is and then add textures load. And if you don't have that in there, then you'll need to change uh, this. Mine's version 5. You want it to be version 6 because for whatever reason, version 5 does not show the texture pack. Like, it, it won't, like, show it there for some reason. But to do that, go to Plugin, go to Graphics, and just drag and drop this into here. And while we're here, go ahead, go to RSP, and put that in here as well. You'll see that they should just show up there, and if not, uh, maybe exit out and go back in. Yeah, change that from version 5 if you already have it to uh, version 6. There you go. I already have direct sound, but if it's the same as this, it, I don't think it really changes anything. Uh, I don't think the plugin really, the controller plugin matters as far as I'm aware, but InRage is pretty good, so I use it anyway. And RSP 1.7, I'm not entirely sure if this matters, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, okay. And now that you got all that in there, you want to go over here. Now, textures load is not there, but what you're going to want to do, right click, go to graphics plugin. You're right clicking on the game, by the way, this. Yeah, right click, graphics plugin. And these two should appear. Select texture pack, install. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you do. It'll say there's no texture packs available. Uh, if you notice, it created the textures load directory automatically, which now would be the time to go in and set that directory for your textures. So you go here and you drag and drop it into here, which should, uh, that's pretty easy. By the way, make sure your ROM matches the name because otherwise i don't think it'll work it might it might not just for safety re reasons just do it and then select texture pack oh wait i forgot you have to restart the rom uh the emulator hold on a second uh let me do that all right now that it's been restarted uh you right click it graphics plugin and then select texture pack this should appear uh change it to upscale textures dk64 Got 9,644 pictures in there, apparently. Press OK, and then launch your game. OK! Let me, uh, hold on a second. There we go. OK. Now, for whatever reason, my here texture pack is actually we weird. I think it's just setting up probably getting changed. But some pictures are showing up, others are not. But, uh, I, I don't know what I did to change that, but as you can see, it'd be working. It's more noticeable here. For whatever reason, it lags too much. But it's more noticeable here. You can see the barrel. You can see some, like, the adventure text, the golden banana. It's like, some things are there for whatever reason and some aren't, but I think that's just a setting on my end that's messed up. Anyway, that should just be it. I have a feeling that I could fix that by just messing around with settings, and I probably will. 
But either way, uh, here it is. The texture pack is activated and it should be if I end the emulation and start it up again, it, it'll still be there. It's, okay. Yeah, turn that sound down because it's freaking loud. But yeah, it's still there. Graphics be crisp. And I guess that's it. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Once you get it done one time, you can do it again. Over and over again. I'm pretty sure this just works for all Jabo texture packs. But there you go. Anyway, actually, you know what? Let me show some gameplay. So that I know that it's actually like, fully working. Turn on score story skip. Oh yeah, you, you could see that the textures are there. I need to figure out why some of them are there and some aren't. Must be in, like might be a naming thing. I don't know. But there you go. There you have it. Dude, all the frickin' controls are weird on base Project 64. I downloaded a new version just so I could, like, come on. So I can, uh, ha give this all mess like, together properly. But there you go. All the coins are there. And that's it. You can see it's all it's right there in Textures Load. There, there should be another one called Textures Save or something like that, but that's only there if you, uh, actually dump the textures but outside of that there you go uh that this is that's the tutorial that's everything you need to know i guess as far as i'm aware at least uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time